Hello, welcome back to this Let's Play of mine, where I play the game Kona, a sort of supernatural, um, I guess a crime now, crime investigation, in Montreal, in the dead of winter. Not a good place to be, honestly, or a good situation to have, but here I am, trying to solve this mystery. Oh, what's that? Huh. Nothing. Anyhow, I think uh, the last episode I was trying to put together this uh, snowmobile over there. And, um, yeah, also get some uh, liquor for that old man. But in order to do that, I have to get the right ingredients and take it to this other place. It's all very complicated, so let's see if we can figure this out. To all appearances, Carl concluded. The owner of the place had moved more essentials from his house inside oh, yeah. the garage. I already Peculiar knew that. man, indeed. Okay. Now, whatever killed him was able to blast freaking ice at him. Oopsies. Okay. <sighs> so I, I do know not that. Yeah, there was a map over here, and there was some um, potentially interesting locations placed on that map. See. Carl deducted this was a map of the area. Were those pins pointing to places of interest? Could be. So, if I go to the... Just follow the lake, I guess. If I follow the lake south, on the edge of the lake, there should be a point of interest. So, I'm going to do that first. I'm going to go check that out. If I can survive. Are a chicken here? Um, painkiller. Okay. All right. Um, how do I get to the lake? I think maybe going this way. Carl hadn't lived up to his good finder reputation. He still hadn't found any of the wealth contained in Lamotte's lands. Hey man, give me a break. I'm checking out this potentially interesting location over here. Oh, I see you. Um, let's see equipment, hatchet. All right, buddy. Let's stay cool. All right. Got him though. That's just where I'm pointed. The oh. blood and the shape of the hole in the ground left no room for doubt. Someone had been buried here. Someone whose life had been taken with blunt force. Where was the body now? Why had it been buried, only to be dug up later? Carl felt as though he was shrouded in fog. Yeah, me too, buddy. I, I seriously have no idea what's going on. 
need a crowbar. Oh boy. Well, I haven't seen a crowbar. Maybe there might have been one back there. But... Okay, I don't think I can go that way for now. I might have one in the truck, come to think of it. That's been a while. Let's go check it out. That's not the same wolf that I just killed, is it? Oh, oh, invisible wall. Oh, guess that is not meant for me to explore. I could not have picked a worse day to be here. Carl hadn't lived up to his good finder reputation. He still hadn't found any of the wealth contained in Lamotte's lands. The wealth? What, do you, what does that mean? I need to warm up. <laughs> Excuse me. Wealth. Yeah, but what could I what could I possibly find? Some rocks. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've looked at all this stuff already. So I'm gonna go look at the truck. Crowbar? Hammer? Uh, might as well go fill this up. Wealth. Hey! Needed that. I wonder if that's the last piece. A bit of gas, a new spark plug, and the key. And this thing would run perfectly. All he needed to do now was to find all that. So I got I got the spark plug. I just need the key. Oh man. And some gas. Nice. Okay. Need a key. Hmm. If I was a crazy demented fool, where'd I, where would I keep the key? Hmm. Hmm. Can't, I can't go in there, huh? Was it back here? For any reason? Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe it's around here somewhere. I just missed it. <gasps> oh, wait. Um, uh, oh, dang, wasn't it? 
Wasn't it an up, up in one of those buckets or something? Like, how do I get on the roof? If I can get on the roof. Uh, uh, uh. Oh man, I'm a terrible jumper. Sheets of metal everywhere. Yeah. Was Carl out of touch with current home improvement trends? <laughs> or perhaps this was meant to protect against residual radiation? Gamma rays? Probably. Yeah, probably that one. Uh, how do I get up there? Is there something I can use? Oh, not that. Not a stake, not a hatchet. I can't remember that. Journal. Uh, what? Oh, that must have been the key for the old old dude's shed. <sighs> oh boy. Well, okay. You know what? I'm gonna come back to this because, come to think of it, I can't even use that thing without the jacket. Really, if you think about it, I'll freeze to death out there. So, let's see, there are some more homes that I believe I haven't visited down south on the other side of the lake. Wait a minute. In that ice cave, that's the point of interest that was uh, pinned on the map. So I've been there already. Wait a minute. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Was there... Was there a crowbar back here? I forget. Let's go check it out. Okay. Mm, no. Although it I was so cold. Yeah, how cold was it? Old. Already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. Oh, really? Again, huh? Oh, I don't worry about that, man. Just need better shoes, that's all. God dang it. Jeez. Freaking snow. Man, they, they actually did simulate driving the snow pretty well. That's what I'm going to blame it on. Snow. Not my inept gaming skills. Not that at all. To all those places so far. So I need to take a ride up here. Man, this bridge. Sketchy.
Don't text and drive, folks. But, uh, Not gonna stop. Oh, wait a minute. Was that was that there before? Carl felt that the store and its surroundings still held their secrets, and he didn't like to miss out. Oh, that's a hint. It's definitely a hint that there's some stuff left in the in the store that I need to check out. And, uh, yeah, I'll do that once I come back that way. First, I'm going to go check out these houses down here. And now, I don't remember if I've done this already. I'm curious. But have I gone to that house all the way down there at the bottom? I don't think so. Alright, should be on the left here. Whoa, whoa. Going pretty fast now. I'll check that out when I come back up. Oh, is that it? Okay. Yeah. Alright. Oh. Hmm, check this out? Oh man, I'm starting to doubt myself because it has been a while since I've been in this area. Okay, yeah, maybe I have. Certainly seems like it. Quebec has a cool flag. I like their flag. Well, now. That was kind of a waste of a trip. Let's see if I've checked out the other places. Oh, 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 ooh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stinking truck doesn't have a very good turn. Uh, oh, there we go. Let me just map and drive here. Oh, whoa. What am I doing? Oh, it's going to be on the left. Okay. This truck gets out of control quick. up on it. Should be soon. Here we go. Loading. This, this kind of looks familiar, actually. Mm 
Whoa! Oh, what's well, is that something I can? Oh, that's another empty bottle. We fled. It was getting too dangerous. People live in North Manistan. It'll be safer there. Okay. All right, this actually does It was a classic Canadian house, familiar. except for the absent horde of kids that would normally be swarming about. Okay, I got a fire starter. Wait, no, I got matches, but not a fire starter. Here's some wood. Uh, let's get that fire started first. Oh, nothing there. More batches. I don't know if I'll be needing that later or not. Well, they don't weigh much, so might as well grab them. Some cereal. That sounds good right now. <laughs> Apple Yakus. Wonder what that means. And it's kind of cool just seeing all this, like a, a 70s home just recreated in a video game. Move peace? Why would I? There we go. Very good. Ah. That's better. Oh, there's some lights I can turn on anywhere. Like, what do you do when you get home? What's wrong with this house? There we go. That's better. Now, let's move the piece. Just one more move and white is checkmated. Game over. It seems the game was abandoned right before the final strike came down. Oh, yeah, it was, it was checkmate, technically. Oh, here we go. Matthew had yet to add murder to his curriculum. He was found uh, fond of new experiences, especially the most thrilling ones, and taking the life of a, of a flesh and bone individual who the night before was still able to think, dream, Fantasize, calculate, read, held the promises of exhilarating sensations. Oh, this is some nice reading. Unlike uh, Rasklinov, Rask, Raskolinikov, ah, it wasn't about axing an, an old Jewish hag to pieces to test some uh, lunatic theory. Not at all. Mafayo just wanted to know how it felt. It seemed so simple, horribly simple. He didn't have any particular victim in mind. Like most people, his desire ran qu uh, ran wildly. So he only had a vague idea of them in mind. He pondered using a rifle or a knife, assassinating a young girl or an old man. He tried to focus on the uh, uh, practi practicality of it. Oh, the practi oh, okay, whatever. His victim had would have to be defenseless. Bodybuilding wasn't exactly Matthias' strong suit. He would have to act spontaneously, but not too much. He wasn't, the e wasn't that eager to learn what spending the rest of his life in prison would be like. Some experiences carry just too high of a cost with it, really. That is freaking crazy. Who would just have that lying on the table? That's some psycho. Psycho shit. Cookie jars are always too high to reach. Oh. Chubby. Hey, who are you calling Chubby? You want me to eat you or not? Oh, yeah. I think I already looked over here. Oh, I could get water. I don't know if I need water right now. 
Wow, a lot of ketchup, a lot of meat, a lot of eggs. Is there, is there another light source around here? The photograph was snapped not too far from here, Carl noticed. The couple seemed to be very good friends. Almost like they were married or something. The couple radiated something akin to lightheartedness, to freedom. Perhaps some people out there truly found a way to live happily ever after. A picture of Wilfred in his youth. Carl figured right away that the man must have been some kind of wildlife officer. Wander through the bathroom. I get to explore everyone's everyone's house in this entire area. That's the privilege of being an investigator, I guess. You can just wander into people's homes. It's back before people believed in locked doors, too, I guess. Yeah, I guess I could use some more pain pills. Why not? Toilet paper? Can you can you close? No? Alright. I'll just leave it open then. I wanna see what's behind. Oh got my hell. Okay, whatever. Can I get close enough to like uh, inspect it? Uh, okay. Nope, none for me. Hopefully that's not super necessary. <laughs> Conopoly. <laughs> oh yeah, I love Easter eggs. All manners of clothing were gone. As if the Droids drove out of town with their closet in tow. Okay. Close the door, please. No, I want to turn on the light. Okay, whatever. Some cigs. Oh, novel, page two. The fantasy. Oh, somebody's writing a novel. I think this person was writing a novel. It was around that time that Matthieu met Batrice of mediocre beauty at best. The girl with, with her distinctive features, cheeks covered with large pox-like freckles, Jew nose, oily forehead, tired but vibrant eyes, shaded red hair, slender as a child body, chirpy laugh, you name it, was the very image of innocence. That happened to be precisely the kind of victim Matthieu was picturing in his mind, though. One night... He was contemplating the ceiling, uh, this, contemplating the ceiling, okay, from his bed. He swore to, again, to himself and again, I'll kill her. His dreams were later filled with images of imminent crime. He had come up with a simple enough plan. One fine evening, he would visit her place to become familiar with the area's intricacies and feel close to the impending murder to slowly dig into Patrice's thoughts, desires, dreams, and abilities. This way, he would be able to gain a concrete sense of what his sinis sinister deed would be stripping away from the very fabric of life. The whole thing would take it two days, a week at most. Why am I reading this? This is snuff media. Seems like it's the only thing that's in here, too. Oh, man. Another... Not a single weapon was left. All of them were gone. Dang it. Oh, sweet. Got some more ammo for a gun I don't have. Okay, so back in the day, you shouldn't have sat this close to a TV, okay? Could be bad for your eyes. Can I turn it on? Nothing's on. Oh, come on. Come on. Please, I won't watch Canadian TV. Whatever. Part 3. 
The first time he met Patrice, however, she unexpectedly revealed her troubled uh, origins to Matthew. She was adopted at the age of four, and recalling her former life still gave her a hard time. She played the pa uh, piano so gracefully and manner that people often thought she may be the natural offspring of a musical virtuoso. She always cried before falling asleep, torn from the inside by dreadful pain she couldn't explain. She confided to him so profoundly that Matthias couldn't get enough coming back every knife to learn every single thing of what would come out of that delicate mouth after pulling one last breath out of it. Every night, he reflected on what the death of Patrice would mean in terms of losses to humanity's common heritage, be it the sound of her sobbing or her piano melodies, the compulsive tapping of her long index finger on her temple, when she harbored dark thoughts or any little thing. It didn't matter. Everything would indiscriminately vanish. Everything! All these thoughts made from some blissful slumber indeed. Then days became weeks, and before he knew it, it was Matthias' turn to throw his secrets at her. His hopes, his cries of despair, as if throwing coins in a wishing well. She'll be dead by the end of the month, he promised himself. Yeah, right, you wimp. Murdering a defenseless little Jew. That's not... Not the actions of anything else other than a, a murderer's whip. diary. Carl's detective training compelled him to write some excerpts down. What sort of monster could give life to such a bizarre tale? The two love birds were still going at it, and seven months later, the, at it seven months later, though confiding fears and desires alike near the fireplace several days a week. The populace took notice, and wondering words eventually found their way to Matthias' ear, prompting him to take action to prove his gentlemanship. He had to ask Patrice's hand in marriage. He would have n have more than enough time to kill her later. <laughs> Today, when Matthias stares at the motionless ceiling, just like he did 20 years ago, he still wonders what he would be removing from his existence by slitting Patrice's throat that he would be depriving his children of then as if soothed by his fantasy he gently drifts smiling the night away that's, that's actually kind of funny <laughs> oh that's in a really sick way just he had imagined killing his his lover the entire time that's what that's why they even met Okay, well. I, I don't think that there's much left in this place. I do believe I have checked it all. Simone de Beauvoir, Claude Lévi-Strauss, Hannah Arendt. Roland Barthez, Carl was surprised by the literature filling this liberal-leaning bookcase. Could there really be intellectuals dwelling in this far-off land? Yep. Okay, let's meander on outside. Maybe I can get to that secret thing. Okay, but first I gotta equip my axe. Yeah, that point of interest that was on um, that crazy dude's map back there. Maybe I can get to it uh, this way. It's not two wolves, is it? Oh man, this is gonna suck. Okay, all right. Come on, guys. Carl never thought he would be dancing with the wolves. Mm -hmm. 
Interesting. Beer bottle? Hmm. All right, how about... Chug a chug chug. Cheers to that, mate. It's just a Coke, though. All right, fire starter. Oh, a flare. Good. A magnet. I guess I might as well grab it. Can always put it in the truck later. Bullets, good. Jeez, where do I get the gun? I'm gonna feel really dumb if I left it. Oh, more. Okay, I can take more pictures, good. Carl's scout training was buried deep in his memory. What do you need again to start a fire? The wood, maybe? There we go. Okay, how far is that point? Oh, not that far. Really hope I begin or can find the, uh, the alcohol that I'm looking for. I really like that coat. Oh, crud. Alright, guys. Oh, God, it's three of them. What have I gotten myself into? Never thought he would be dancing with the wolves. Oh, glad they run off. That's nice. Oh. Half-life noise. Is that it? Really? And a magnet? Can't even use that magnet. So strong. Can't touch it. Okay. So a fence starts here. I, I really need to find a crowbar. I think. I don't think I can get to that. Holy cow! Is it ever gonna stop blizzarding? Goodness gracious! Well, that will be the next house that I'm going to explore. Well, it is. Not sure I want to just abandon my truck though, so should go back for it. If I can find it through all this freaking snow.
There it is. Alright. On to the next house. Oh, this the turning radius on this thing sucks. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I should be checking these mailboxes, shouldn't I? This could be clues. Oh. Okay. Can I? Uh, can I? Okay. This is going to be really dumb if I just have to move my truck up. <sighs> okay, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Dear Mr. Roy, I am writing this because I feel guilty. The other day, Martin and I were taking a stroll not far from your house when we saw that the door on your shed was open. I wanted us to mind our own business, but it Martin so likes cold. to... Already Carl did not feel his, feel his toes, toes anymore. Yes. Um, I wanted to, us to mind our own business, but Martin likes living on the edge. He took a few shiny things, including some bullets. Now my dad always told me never to play with th those things. So I immediately put them back. But Martin hid other things, I confess, Mr. Royce. I have so many regrets. But you mustn't call the police. You won't call them, will you? My father would be so angry. I'll bring back all your things, I promise. Marie Bed uh, Bedard. Uh, maybe they're neighbors? Hmm. Well, let's find out. I are cold. I are real cold. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, I missed it. <sighs> Stinking cold. How cold am I? Oh, I am pretty darn cold. I don't know why my truck has no heat to it. Oh, oh. Uh. Okay. Is it shown? Can I see it? My sweet Marie, may the treasure hunt begin. I have hidden wonderful things, little things for you to find all over the village. Follow my clues. Uh, you are holding in your hands the first map. The hunt begins at my place. You're so clever. I'm certain you will find everything, Martin. That sounds kind of scary. Yikes. My vision is getting terrible. You should turn the heat on, you dummy. Your truck ought to have heat. Bedard's house. Okay, let's see what shiny things were stolen. Ah, uh, it's cold. Move carpet, flying key. What was even the point of locking your door? If everyone hid their key in the same place, Carl was starting to feel like his investigator life lacked challenge. <laughs> the house smelled like incense. Nice. The kind that reminds you of the good Lord. Of peace. Well, that's good. I'm about to see the good Lord soon if I don't get some freaking wood. Um. Okay, maybe it's in the house. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wood, 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 wood. It's freaking cold in here. Pretty creepy room there. Inspect the carrots. 
Okay, I'll just get it from my truck. Oh, truck! Uh, some wog. Thank you. The cold was burning Carl. He would not hold up much longer. He had to warm himself. Thanks, game. I'm on it. <sighs> I'm going to start a fire in every house in the whole village. Maybe one of these TVs will eventually show more than just the Fuzz channel. Okay. Enough food for rough times. Cool. They got a nice place here. There we go. Oh, we got some Catholics, it looks like. Good Paul VI, appearing papal. Indeed. His crooked fingers gave the impression he was about to bestow a miracle. Some cer you keep your cereal with your pots and pans. Strange. Attach wire. Why not? Nice. Polaroids. Nothing. Okay. Ooh, somebody got 100%. These are some good kids. Just take the steak. I'm not sure what steak does, actually. Consumable. Uh, I would think that would be inconsumable. For some weird reason it is not. What does it do? Maybe I can use it to uh, calm down the wolves or something. Some matches. The perfect cookie cutter Catholic family, most likely attending church every Sunday. Nothing wrong with that. There we go. Love of religion and ancestors was rooted deep inside the hearts of Canadians of old, to which the Bedards appeared to be closely related. Well, this is Mar Montreal, you know. There's probably a fair number of Catholics in Montreal. Uh, giraffe? Who knew that giraffes thrived in the North Pole? The craze for toys was stupefying. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. Wait until Toys R Us shows up. Oh, man. Huh? Journal entry. Dreamcatchers originated from First Nations legends. They were used to trap nightmares. Guess they were having nightmares? Carl wasn't desperate enough to invade a village woman's privacy. Carl wasn't desperate Aww. enough to invade a village woman's privacy. You've invaded everyone else's privacy? I mean, come on. Why stop now? If you, you've literally barged into everyone's home. Just read the book. We are in the creepy kids' room. Works of art, 
from a future artist. Woof. Oh, <laughs> it's spelled in the French way. Woof. Woof. Oh, I'm fine reading this diary. <sighs> had without a doubt been the closest man in the village to William Hamilton, otherwise known as Uncle Willie. August 16th, a much better date to be here. I have a diary, just like Mom. Unlike her, though, I don't wear a long face when writing, but I do love to write my thoughts, and about Martin, most of all. I love talking about him. I think he loves me, too. Just like in Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. Uh, isn't, isn't she a child and Martin is an adult? Okay. People don't like it when I see him. Only because he he's a bla, blasé or something. But just like in the story, nothing can stand in the way of true love. I don't actually know if Martin's an adult. Um... August 18th. I lost appetite. I can't sleep anymore. Every waking hour, intense shivers run through my body. Dad's making me see Dr. Dupre with his big hands touching me everywhere, his foul breath exhaling all over my face. Yuck. I'm not sick. I'm in love. I love Martin so much. There's nothing I like better than to than thinking about us playing together like we always do. I wonder if he found the lost key the other day. He was pretty sad when I did when I did because it's for his dad's garden shed, and Martin has always been afraid of him. I think Martin's dad is a good uh, a bit like Dad's God. They the key fell in a burrow next to the shed. Poor Martin, he cried like a baby, but I still love him. Okay, what? Okay, so uh, there's n there's not much that I play with the. Like we always say, I wonder if he found the lost key the other day. He was pretty sad when I... He was pretty sad when I did because it's for his dad's garden shed. And Martin's always been afraid of him. Okay. Dad's God. Hmm. Well... Perfectly fine with uh, invading the privacy of children. Why not her? Carl wasn't desperate enough to invade a village. Oh my place. god, that makes no sense. So dumb. All right, whatever. How did they draw the sun? Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! Oh. That's the creepiest thing of the whole game, right there. Religion was very influential throughout Quebec many years ago. Indeed, it was surprising that Carl did not come across a single chapel since arriving here. Hmm. Yeah, where did they go to church? Oh, wait a minute. Before I... Oh, I've already been in there. These darn clo doors closing on their own. Um, oh, I guess I took that little girl's journal. It's gonna sit. Um, I don't think I'm gonna find it here. <sighs> Wait, what was that? Uh, journal. Maybe I'll have it on under Martin. Come on. Roy. Mallory. Yeah, it's a mystery because you wouldn't freaking reader journal uh, stories except for the friend Martin I mean, she left the region with the family nothing okay. oh Martin was a boy maybe I already got that key I do remember getting a key 
Is that it? I'm still not finding anything really important around here. Yes, yeah. Why not? Very catchy. A true Catholic always strives to keep lowly temptations at bay. Obviously, Carl thought, someone in this house wasn't doing a good job at upholding the Holy Bible's teachings. By what? Smoking cigarettes? Come on. Oh, well, maybe there's a lot of beer back there. Oh, there we go. So I just got a small key. I'm not exactly sure what it goes to. Yeah, I don't. I'm. Hmm. I wonder. smiled at the sight of the nicely protected garden. Hopefully, the Bedards had managed to dig every last potato out before the sudden snowfall. Uh, hmm. Alright. Next, looks like there might be another house. Oh, have I checked that one already? drive over there. Guess the uh, the narrator will let me know. Oh, here we go. Ooh, whoa. If I missed anything. Last neighborhood or a uh, house in the neighborhood? Ooh. I wonder what goes that way. Have I been here? La Chen Chez's house. The chantas. The air was Whoa. freezing, right down to the bone. Whoa! Another one of those guys. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna leave it there uh, for this episode. I'm gonna explore this house and hopefully find some more clues. Um, and I really hope in the next episode I can get a, closer to getting that jacket, the gun, and the uh, snowmobile working again. I really hope so. But yeah, very curious as to what's going on here. There definitely seems to be some sort of supernatural thing going on that's able to, that's freezing these people. Clearly, this is not something that happens when you just leave a window open, right? So there's got to be some supernatural or alien force coming and killing these people but not Hamilton Hamilton died uh, in a different way and yeah hope we can figure this all out pretty soon and anyhow uh, I'm glad you guys were here for, with me while I was playing this game hope you enjoyed it I uh, hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and uh, I hope to see you in the next episode till then have a good night or day
whatever it is. Peace.